So here at Akenfield Community College, we are genuinely, truly passionate about history. As history teachers, you can often find us talking about the latest book we've read, something we've seen on TV, recommending a podcast to each other. And we really try to bring that enthusiasm into lessons. We're trying to light fires for those students who maybe haven't yet discovered a love for history, or to build on the passion and enthusiasm that so many of our students already have. Um, we seek to do this through a really carefully constructed curriculum. We look at a really diverse range of topics, things like Native American culture, witchcraft in early modern Europe, the protest movements of 20th century Britain. Um, and we also try to use a really engaging wide range of activities in our lessons, things like discussions, debates, lots of video clips, but also some more creative, more imaginative activities, um, lots of reenactments, so foods and crowns, always a very important part of some lessons. We also believe that history learning kind of shouldn't stop within the classroom and we try to organise memorable but also thought-provoking trips for our students. Um, so for instance, we regularly go to the Black Country Museum with our year eights where students explore the inside of a coal mine but also see the kind of working conditions and living conditions for the Victorian, uh, for Victorian workers. We also do things like go to the Imperial War Museum, um, do things like going to a Norman castle to see fortifications and visit uh, First World War cemeteries and trenches and pay our respects there as part of the GCSE curriculum. We try to communicate this in-depth understanding and this love to our students for history. We really believe, as the Roman philosopher Cicero once said, to not know what happened before you were born is to remain forever a child and we try and help all of our students grow into fully fledged adults.